Hi, welcome to Tesla Mods. Do you want TV screens in the back of your Tesla? It's cool, especially if you have kids or you drive for Uber. But how do you hardwire accessories in the cabin, like monitors in the rear, without voiding your warranty? If you want to know how to get switched 12V power in the back, watch this video and subscribe for more Tesla mods. First, let's open up the center console. Move the seats all the way back, then open the armrest. You can remove the trim with just your hands. Start at the rear. The Tesla service manual shows nine clips that have to be released. It helps to put your fingers in the bottom of the trim and pull up like I did. Now use both hands and pull up. The trim is attached to a connector to charge your phones. Release that connector and get the trim out of the way. Now remove the bright strip. I don't know why Tesla calls it a bright strip. That's what the repair manual calls it. You're going to need a torque pointy bit to remove the seven screws on each side. Do the same thing on the other side. I don't need to show you that part. Sometimes you'll see these metal taps fall to the floor or get stuck on the bright strip. Just remove them carefully and put them back on the decor trim before putting it back on. Now pull up on the cup holder decor. Then remove the security controller electrical connector. By the way, you can't drive the car until you reconnect this controller. Unless you can drive your car without your phone or keycard. It won't recognize your phone until you reconnect this. Now, let's splice into the 12V plug. Cut away the cloth shielding. The blue wire is constant 12V or 15V. That's why if you plug your accessory into this plug, it won't turn off unless your sentry is off and the car goes to sleep. You're going to tap into this blue wire for constant power. Then you'll tap into the brown wire, that's ground. I use posit taps to tap into wires. There's a link in the description below. Depending on the project, I always use a fuse right at the power wire. It's a good safety precaution, especially since you don't want to short a Tesla. And Tesla doesn't have a physical fuse box like most cars. It looks ugly to have wires coming out of your center console. So let's go deeper and route the wires underneath to have a clean install. So let's remove the cup holder trim by releasing the four screws. Pull up from the middle and side. Release the connectors for the light and 12V plug. Now lift up the cup holder. Now use a trim tool to release the lower rear panel. Next, I'm going to show you how to set up a relay. Because the 12V plug is always on, 
as long as the sentry is on. So we need to find a way to switch off the power when you leave the car. This is called switched 12V or 15V technically. Next, undo the screws. There's a brown wire that powers the lights in the center console. We're going to tap that as our relay wire. Then pull up on the rear vent assembly. Yes, according to the repair manual, you can also tap the light wire that's inside the armrest, but it's really deep in there. Anyway, a better choice is the OBD connector at the bottom. You're going to look for the brown wire with the white stripe. A brown wire with the white stripe or brown white wire. It turns on when you turn on the car, but the wire doesn't have enough voltage to power any accessory, so you use it to trigger the relay. Tap this wire. We don't have any brown wires at the shop, so I connected it to a yellow wire, but you know, same thing. Next, pull up on the end panel. Now you can route this wire through the armrest for a clean installation. Let's go fishing for wires. I just undid a metal clothes hanger so I could fish this through the hole. So that wires don't come out of the center console looking ugly. We're going to fish the power and ground wires through this hole. Okay, then tape the wire to the hook and then fish the wire up. and then connect it to the power wire and do the same thing for the ground wire. Okay, this is the hard part. This is how you set up your relay. So pin two is where I put my blue wire, the constant power wire that's connected here. Pin four is my ground wire. First, I got me a solid state relay that could handle low voltage, low amps input. Cause some relays won't work with this brown wire, so I use this. You can find the link in the description below. Pin 3 is where I connect the brown wire from the back, you know, the OBD brown white wire that comes up this yellow wire through the armrest. This is relay power. So the whole thing turns on when the relay turns on. And the whole thing is off when the relay is off. Pin 1 finally. Now this is what I use to power my accessories. This is switched 12V. This relay is small enough to fit in the small hole. I'm going to put that in there so it's less messy.
Now the easy part. Just connect the accessory power wire to the screen power and the ground to the screen ground. By the way, you can use any screen, not just what I use. You may be tempted to get mine because you can't find any screen that fits a Tesla. That's because Tesla doesn't have headrest poles. Well, technically it does, but you only use it when you remove the headrest with a special tool. So I found this online, where you can wrap this around your headrest and the screen is held up by Velcro. And I'll tell you that you can now fit any screen any screen because you can remove the hanging support off any screen and then put it on these applied rubber bands. Yes, those are GoPros for my other channel. But I don't think people care about hardwiring GoPros in your car. There you have it. If you got something out of this video, then smash that like button and subscribe to this channel for more Tesla mods.